We are taking a look at Medford's most wanted tonight. These are fugitives hanging out on our streets. New Sense Crystal Henderson is live at the Medford Police Department with more. Crystal? Police working to get criminals off the streets in your town, and thanks to your tips, more arrests are happening. Lieutenant Mike Boudreaux is here with us. So tell us who you've arrested this past week. Yeah, a good week of captures. We arrested four people, uh, two directly from callers and tips that got us to their location. And Angel Mallory, we've been looking for him since last November. We profiled him, so he was picked up, which is great. But our catch of the week is clearly Martin Derbigny. He was wanted on a bunch of gun charges. He's a... Uh, He's a drug dealer, he likes guns, and he's often in possession of guns. And we found him after a tip at a house. We did a search warrant. We found him inside. We arrested him on the warrants. We also found five other guns in there. And again, he can't possess them. He's a felon, so he's got more charges from that. All right, well, more crimes are being committed, which means more criminals to put behind bars. There's actually five new suspects you're looking for this week. Who are they? Yeah, let's start off with Christopher Ryan Batesel. He's wanted for tampering with drug records and identity theft, which stems from a case where he actually stole a prescription pad and forged prescriptions at nine different locations in Medford for the drug called oxycodone, something that we're really seeing this drug being abused. Uh, he also has numerous other convictions for theft and methamphetamine and heroin, so it looks like he has quite a drug problem. And burglary is just one charge in connection with this next suspect, right? Uh, yeah, it's a Virginia Antonia uh, Brayback. She's 26 years old. Yeah, she's got warrants for burglary, uh, warrants for methamphetamine and heroin from three different cases. The burglar is out of Josephine County, but Medford has actually had two cases with her for drugs. In one case, she was in a hospital and actually had the drugs delivered to her motel room, and she, or I'm sorry, her, her hospital room, and she was caught for that. Okay, and there's another suspect you're looking for. I think this is really interesting, a case of identity theft. Yes, yes, this is Justin Allen Graven, 29 years old. He was actually in a local uh, store when a gentleman was making a transaction on Western Union and he stole this person's wallet right right behind him and went in the store he was in, which was actually Fred Meyer, and used it all over the store, a little shopping spree, and he had three other stores that night. Uh, so we actually caught him for that. And in another case, he stole the keys uh, from a gym where this gentleman was working out at, went to his car and stole property from his car. So he was convicted of those charges and now he's on probation and he skipped out on his probation. And who's this next suspect you're looking for? Uh, Felicia Rose Torres. She's 28 years old. Uh, she is wanted for possession of a forged instrument and forgery. Uh, she has six convictions, actually, for various things like methamphetamine and, and felon in possession of a weapon. But basically, this charge stems from her uh, having a $100 bill that was counterfeit and trying to pass it at a local store. And now this final case involves domestic assault, right? It does. This person was convicted of a domestic assault case, rather violent case. His name is Eric Wayne Harlan, 28 years old. Uh, yeah, he punched a female. He damaged the resident, stole her property. And this occurred in front of a child, which actually means it's a felony. And he has multiple other convictions, violent convictions, like resisting arrest and assault and weapon use and burglary. So not somebody you're going to want to approach. I'd say, do you consider him dangerous? I, I would, based on his criminal history and what he's wanted for, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Mike Boudreaux. If you've seen any of these criminals or these suspects, rather, please contact Medford Police. If you'd like to take another look at them, just head to our website at ktvl.com. Covering your news live in Medford, back to you in the studio.